No answers from the hunters yet. I'll keep trying. There's an outpost in the forest to your northwest. If you follow the trail, you'll find it. I have a hunch that... Oh, phone's ringing. I'll call you back when I get some answers from these guys about where they cut the wood. Head to the forest outpost in the meantime. I'll bet that's where they were. I had a chat with the hunters who chopped the logs he found at Logger's Point. Turns out that the cabin had been out of firewood, so they'd gone looking for a fallen tree to carve up. You are now in the same forest they were when they found our beetle-infested tree. Hey, I see you're near the forest outpost. Once you get up there, take a look in the cabin. There should be a backpack with some supplies in it. When you find it, just grab the whole pack. That's the one. Once you're done at the outpost, take a look in the surrounding forest. Can you find any fallen trees in that area? Ah, the spruce bark beetles are a massive threat to Alaska's spruce forests at the moment. We haven't been hit as badly compared to some other Alaskan state parks, but I think that it may be time for a quarantine. Okay. So once you find a fallen tree, I want you to take a look at its bark. Does it look healthy? If so, it's probably not the tree we're looking for. This is the one. Okay, in that pack you should have a canister of paint and a nozzle attachment. Use them to paint a big pink X on the tree. And let's take a look around to make sure the beetles haven't started to spread. If you see a spruce in the immediate vicinity of the fallen tree, mark it. And our forestry team will come out and take care of it. If it's untouched, they can just spray it with pesticides to protect it. If it's already infested, then they'll cut it down and haul it away for burning. job. I hope we don't need to cut these trees down, but it's a small price to pay to contain the beetles. There we go. Another tree marked. This reminds me of my summer breaks when I was a kid, helping out my dad at work. He was a tree surgeon down in Washington State. I used to resent him for making me go out there and work while my friends played back home. Eventually, those trips also included hunting lessons, and that made them my favorite parts of the summer. That should do. I'll get in touch with the foresters. They can investigate the area and cut down what they need to. I'll make sure that they also pick up the firewood at Logger's Point. Don't want to take any chances. Thanks for taking care of this. It's becoming a full-on phobia of mine that these beetles are going to destroy the forest here. We sprayed pesticides across the western edge of the forest as a preventative measure earlier this month. But any new chemicals in the air, soil, or water make me uneasy.